Dental Sound Bites bonus content. Hi, Dr. Edgar. It's such a pleasure talking to you today. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Always great to talk to you. Yes, same, same, same. So we're talking about leadership today. So we wanted to ask you about your leadership journey. And if you could take us back, thinking back on your leadership journey, what do you feel has been the smartest move that you've made in order to get on a leadership track? Well, as you know, I went to dental school late. I was 37, so I was 40 when I got out of dental school. You know, to be honest with you, I didn't really seek out leadership. I just liked to be involved with study clubs. I started a study club uh, to give people CE. I got involved with the Academy of General Dentistry first and the ADA at the same time and just started putting on uh, hands-on CE programs because I taught honors chemistry, so it was easy for me to make those up. And then what happened was uh, I just got invited to serve on the board from that. I think just reaching out and trying to connect with other people. And I mean, that's the best thing I did with dentistry. Of course, I went into my My husband's a dentist, and we went into practice together. He had been in practice for 16 years, so I had a built-in mentor, and he was involved with other study clubs. So that was the best thing for me. And then I basically got asked to serve in leadership roles in the AGD and then on the Seattle King County Dental Society and then... You know, just got encouraged. What's the best leadership advice that you received early in your career? One of the things that I continue to go back to, especially this year, is don't beat yourself up. If if things don't work out the way you want them to, maybe somebody's intervening or not, you know, cooperating the way you want, uh, don't beat yourself up. Try to be positive. I think that's sort of the way I've always I've always lived, and that would be probably my best advice. I got asked that question down at UCLA, and that's what came to mind. Yeah, positivity is so important. Honestly, it's something that I try and display and something that I try to embody every single day in practice. And it is very, very hard, you know, when you're in clinical dentistry, like you're making decisions on the fly. And sometimes those things, they can really get you in a funk if things aren't going the way that you want them to. As a provider, you are needed to go, but you also have to meet the patient where they are. And then you have to bring the team aboard. So there's a lot of quick things that are just happening. And so, yeah, I would agree that positivity, too, is supreme, in my opinion. So what's your favorite bit of advice to give to anyone looking to cultivate a leadership mindset? Well, you can do anything you really want to do, but don't run over other people to get there. You see that some people, I don't even like to call them leaders because they're just sort of want to put themselves up on a pedestal. I think bringing the team together, you know, in your practice, it's always about the team. If something goes wrong, you need to take the responsibility. If something goes right, it's the team that gets the job done. And if you emphasize that in your practice and your leadership life, it will always come back to you. When I was practicing, I just really finished practicing a year or so ago, and I would tell my assistants that would get... uh, you know, upset at a patient or upset at another team member, I I would say, you know, sometimes you just have to let it go. Uh, In the big picture of life, this is a very little thing to worry about. And if you just kind of keep that in the back of your mind, I think it it, it keeps you calm and, you know, kind of keeps people liking each other more than anything. It keeps the day going. I, I was always taught growing up not to make mountains out of molehills. Yes, yes, exactly. I have this knack for wise sayings, and that's yes, one of the ones yes. that's on my list. I just I just ran across another one. Sometimes I need to put a speed bump between my brain and my mouth. Oh, yeah, and think before you speak. <laughs> just think before you speak. Got yeah. it. Or, or maybe don't even speak at all. You know, instead of, that's the other thing I, I've really learned a lot this year uh, is don't, 
think you always have to have an answer. If a person is complaining or upset, thank them for their opinion and move on. Yeah, this is very, very true. Now that is a leadership skill right there. Yeah, yeah. Very much so. Took me a lot of time to learn that. <laughs> to learn that. <laughs> yeah. Well, sometimes we just feel like we have to have an answer or we have to have like a rebuttal or, you know, some sort of a response. And oftentimes I would say silence is a response too. Yes. Yes. A- an important response. Yeah. So another question for you. How do you define the leadership journey, especially for someone interested in an ADA leadership path? I feel like we talk about leadership often and it's this big thing and it can mean different things for other people. So specifically on the path of to leadership within the ADA, how would you define that leadership journey? I really feel like it's important for you to get involved locally first and get your people, you know, that you live with and that you work with. Uh, A lot of people feel like they have to jump right up to the national level and You know, it takes a lot of experience to lead well. It takes um, living. It takes talking to a lot of people. It takes having your own experiences, good and bad. And so there's local, uh, all kinds of local opportunities. And then you can move to the state level. There there are leadership opportunities. Many states have leadership opportunities. Um, groups that they train people with. I know I've uh, heard of a bunch of them. The Diversity and Inclusion Committee has a leadership track uh, at the national level that yeah, IDL that you can, you know, get involved. Uh, if you're interested, talk to your trustee for your district. If you're interested in serving on a council or a committee and the um, Strate- Strategic Forecasting Committee now, we are opening this up to lots of people, all ages, all places in the country, and that's going to get even more robust. We've worked on formatting that this year, and they're going to be moving the ADA into the future. So it's a good place to be. And, you know, the new dentist committee. I mean, the people that you meet in these experiences, my first study club, I had five whole people in it. I started it, five whole people. Do you know that those five people I still know today, 30 years later, and they're some of my best friends because we kind of, you know, went through our tough stuff together Mm -hmm. and we were able to be honest and um, if you get in, into a good group with mentors like that, it can really make a difference in your career. Yeah. There's a, a couple of quotes that I've come across. One is, uh, to connect with all your heart, use your ears. It's that listening piece again. <laughs> Love it. The listening piece is so huge. Uh, think about what you can give rather than what you can get. That's really important. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I would rather get three things done than talk about doing 100 things. Yeah. Oh, that's an amazing (laughs) one. So execution, listening, and being generous or being a giver. Is that a good summary? Yeah. Lift, Lift while you climb. That's what it's all about. And be excited for the other person's success. That's really important. Yeah. I always say that too. In order to receive or get engagement, we first have to be engaged. So I really think being engaged is one thing that's really, really important for anybody that's going on the leadership path as well. And so, yeah. Great. Well, Dr. Edgar, this was really, really good. I loved picking your brain. Thank you so much for those insights, Dr. Edgar. I'm sure our General Soundbites community is going to love hearing from you. Absolutely. Thank you for asking me. I appreciate it. Dental Soundbites is an American Dental Association podcast. Learn more at ada.org slash podcasts.